guys, um, sorry about the lack of videos. Um, I was planning on doing a Lola's Punch Up video, but not. Nope. I'm going to read another creepy pasta. And sorry if I'm reading this slowly, but I'm reading this on my 3DS because I need my laptop to uh, cool down. Okay. I really miss. Uh, by the way. This uh, creep pasta is called Team Fortress 2. I really miss my Team Fortress 2. What? <laughs> I wish I had the guts to even open it again. But I just can't. Not after that. It all started around three days ago. I was there having fun with the whole with the Halloween event. The Halloween update. Uh, when suddenly my real life friend calls me on Steam. He's Brazilian as well. So this is just a rough translation of our conversation. Hey Leo, my real life uh, friend's n my real life nickname. Are you there? This is the friend talking. Yeah, why? Uh, I need you to look into something. Uh, what exactly? You see, there's something wrong with my Team Fortress 2 game. It I'm Bo Webs. What is that? What? Never mind. Anyways, it's all dub. Texture glitches? I don't know what to call it anymore. You have to see it for yourself. Screens? No. I tried uploading something. It just didn't work. Weird. Oh, by the way, I was playing line play with my friends. Um, just do on your p computer. Just do on your computer. Oh, as long as it doesn't require any DL DLS? No. Just go to the loadout screen, equip the mackerel, then the bat, then the mackerel again, and then the sandman. Oh, they're probably, uh, he's probably playing as a scout. Um, must be, must be an awkward graphical glitch. Wait, I don't have a mackerel. I would give you mine, if I could. I see what you, I'll see what I can do. Thanks for telling me. Thanks for listening, I'm sorry for telling you. As I... As I was about to ask him what he meant, he disconnected. That was one heck of a weird conversation, though it wouldn't be been had I gone in time to warn, my, warn myself. At the end of the conversation, I was thinking my friend was a major noob that found some fancy graphical glitch and wanted to show me. What was, what was however, bugging me was the tone of the conversation. You may read it as uh, as your average dialogue, but my friend was the kind that would almost always type in some smiles. This time, there were none. Something seemed off. I decided to try to try it anyway, so I disconnected, crafted a mackerel, and went to the went to try the glitch. I carefully did the steps: mackerel, bat, mackerel, sandman. As I equipped at the sandman, I can. My screen suddenly froze. It was rather unusual since I was playing on a, my brand new high-end high end PC. But I knew Team Fortress 2 had a tendency to lag, so I just ignored it. That's when an ear-bursting beep came out of my earbuds. It was around 2 a.m. And I, and I pretty much flew out of my chair. That's when Team Fortress 2 returned to normal. Or at least I thought so. The first thing I noticed was that all of the loadout slots were gone. It was just a gr dark gray background with two gray buttons below. It all... blow it. All the text was gone. Then I noticed the scout was looking at me. Its eyes had no pupils, and there was no gun at... Un wait, and there was no gun in his hands. I remember having these sorts of glitches when I used DX 8.1, so it was no big surprise. I clicked a button the button. I guess that was back. The class loadout select, 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 selection screen was glitched. Just like the previous screen. All icons be below the classes were gone. And all the class icons were upside down. They also wouldn't, wouldn't zoom in as your, mouse o as your mouse over them as usual. I pressed escape since the close button wasn't there. And what came up was was what finally alerted me. This was not another graphical glitch. The title screen was boldest, was the boldest title screen I've ever seen. 
It was a black screen with the words Team Fortress 2 written in white at the top of the screen. It wasn't written in Team Fortress 2 theme, theme font, but rather Times New Roman, like it was rushed out of, out of something. Below it, would, below it were three options, play, options, and quit. As it was kind of late and I had to sleep, I decided to just jump to play. As the server browser opened, my subconscious was already starting to realize what I was getting into. I suddenly felt a fear I never thought I would ever feel, irrational or not. I was shocked when it could only find one single server. Minutes ago, I found over 2,000 servers, so how could I only find one now? I checked the filter and there were, and they were all tor turned off. Turning any of them on would make the server disappear from the list. Which, what creeped me out most were, hold on, were the details on the single server. Once again, I'm pl I'm reading this on my 3DS, so it's kind of glitchy. I have good internet though, which is good, so I can still read the story. Yay! The name of the server was just Team Fortress. So I instantly su suspected it was a listen server. The game tab was empty. The player count was 114. The map was just manor. It was written like that not not c cp underscore under slash manor under slash event. Just manor. And the png ping ping I don't, I don't know was 10. That's what, that's what I call a ping. <laughs> what? You mean PNG? Uh, anyways, I whispered to myself. I kept staring at the, at the player count for around 30 seconds. I was trying to figure out what was someone doing there. Lonely, on a remote, remote server, isolated from the player base. I reluctantly entered the server. The loading bar was just... Just a long white stripe with no text. It connected. I wasn't greeted by the usual blackboard welcoming screen. Instead, it just went straight to the class selection screen. I just crafted the horseman, horse, horseman's head taker, and I real I wanted, and I wanted to try it out. So I instinctively chose demo man. I spawned at the as a blue demo. But in the middle of the map, but wait, but in the middle of the map, I, I also had no weapon. I checked out the score. My name was, oh, my name was only there. There was, wait, there was no one in the red, neither in spectator. Okay, wasn't there supposed to be someone here? I opened the server browser again, and now the player count was two fourteen. The name on the server suddenly switched to get out. I got freaked out by that one, but kept going. Before even moving from the odd place I spawned, I typed, who are you? I got no answer. I just supposed he didn't speak English and casually walked off, out. That's when my, my demo bursted into flames. At first, I thought he was just a, just, he was just a lone pyro, but that's when with a scream of agony I had never heard from any demo man before, he blew up. By that point, I, already, I was already scared to death, so I quickly disconnected. The server browser automatically opened a few moments after my scare quit. This time, the name of the server was, Come Back, I Want You. I decided to step up and go in again, now prepared for anything. Alright guys, um... I, um, I don't want to make this, oh, I've been, have I been seriously going on the same picture the whole entire time I was reading? <laughs> I forgot to switch the pictures again. God dang it. So, anyways, um, I don't want to make this video, like, 11 minutes, so, yeah. Um, may the Triforce be with you, and I'll see you guys on the next video. 
Wow, this story is really getting interesting. I want to. I really want to read more. So after this video, I'm gonna. I'm gonna read it again. Bye bye.